we have with us today Daniel Fried, GM and SVP of EMEA and Worldwide Channels at Veeam Software. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you very much, Ita. A, a, a big pleasure to be with you today. My pleasure too. Um, Daniel, so tell us, tell us uh, in today's multi-cloud world, what should channel partners do to remain relevant and successful, particularly post the pandemic? Well, actually, it's I, I I would say I would answer in two ways um, because your questions I think were, you know, had it was two questions. Actually, the right. pandemic uh, I wouldn't say helped but pushed a number of customers uh, to move a number of their data uh, to the cloud. Uh, so in order to have themselves managing their own data doing their own data management. Uh, they they had to focus on other things. They were working remotely. Uh, so they 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 a lot of them started to say, uh, yeah, cloud uh, may be a good option uh, to 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 have my data being stored there to be uh, to be backed up, to be restored, to be managed uh, in 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 uh, outside. So then there are for the customers then there are different types of strategies and some of them is um, what we call hybrid cloud, which means having part of the data on my own premises, so in my own data center or in a third party data center. And then and then you may say, yeah, but also in the in, in the data, there are different levels of, of privacy of the data or importance of the data. So there is some sharing that can be done. So maybe this one, I want it to be in a place which is not too expensive. So cloud A and this one, I need mm -hmm. it to be in the cloud B because mm -hmm. I need a lot of redundancy because it's very important information, very important data and so on and so forth. So this is where we start. People started to think in terms of customers, mm -hmm. to think in terms of strategy between hybrid and multi-cloud. So this is the customer point. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, and, and the pandemic accelerated all these things. So okay. multi-cloud, hybrid cloud. Uh, then what happens to the partners? And this is the key The key thing is a lot of the partners uh, were already uh, into providing cloud services. So they were ready to help uh, these customers, but most of these customers had as a trusted partner, a VAR or a system integrator who is not a cloud provider, you know, cannot provide cloud services. Mm -hmm. So what we've been doing now, you know, over the last two years and, and, and now pretty much accelerating and we are going to launch that very officially. We've done we've done two things. We're doing two things is first what we call the soft segmentation. And the second one uh, of soft segmentation, it means it means trying to to set competencies uh, with the partners to say partner A is capable of doing that, partner B is capable of doing that, partner C is capable of doing that. So that if one partner, partner A, doesn't have the competencies, the capabilities that his customer is requesting, he can go to, to he can go and work with partner B who has the, the competencies and together they can provide the services or the products that the customer wants. So it's, it's yeah. what we call partner with partners. So soft segmentations, partnering with partners. The other thing that uh, um, that we um, uh, that we uh, we're doing is we obviously have continued develop, developing the products, the technology, so that the partners can feel comfortable with offering what is needed for their end customers. Right. And what we're doing now, what is going to be launched. Uh, which I would say, based on all these things, uh, we are going to, because we talk of competencies, so we have a, all set of trainings, which is going to be launched before end of the years, so that partners can decide, okay, I want to be competent there, I want to be competent mm -hmm. there, I want to be competent here and here and here, so that we have, you know, there is going to be free trainings, uh, so that they can say, and then it will be shown on our website, by seeing partner A is competent in doing this, in doing that, and so on and so forth. Obviously, a lot of the competencies are cloud based. So in other okay. words, so that they can deliver managed services uh, as a service, uh, you know, backup as a service, DR as a service, all kinds mm -hmm. of things related to cloud. Right. Uh, now, has Veeam's channel program been recently updated to align with modern day trends? Um, so the answer is, is recently, the answer is, so the answer is no. Uh, is it updated? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So what we do is because we 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 love the ecosystem of partners. The success of Veeam as is 
you know, obviously our solutions, our technology, but it's also our, our uh, model, sales model, our go-to-market model, which is 100% partner-based, um, uh, which means that we need to take care of the partners uh, because they are the ones who own, I would say, the end customers, are the ones, you know, the end customers are their customers, they have a relationship with their customers. Uh, so we are always, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say careful, I would say cautious, but when we when we move, we try to move step by step. So we have regular every year, every six months, we have you no know, an incremental step to do changes uh, in our in our program. Uh, so that that's what we do. And and effectively, what I just said just before about education, about accreditation of, of these specializations um, is, is something that is going to be introduced in the program so that we can say to the partner or when a, an end customer has a request, he can find easily the partner who is capable of doing A or B or C. Right. Um, now, what are some of Veeam's channel priorities globally as well as in the EMEA region? So the 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 so the priority is uh, to to enable and to help the partners moving more to services to cloud services. If I have to take one top priority, because customers are requesting that, so we need to have this entire ecosystem. We have thirty five thousand thirty five thousand active partners worldwide. Out of the 35,000 active partners, 11,000 of them are already providing managed services or cloud services using the Veeam technology. Uh, but it's not enough because because we need we we need we need all of them who own their customers um, to provide not only the Veeam technology, the Veeam product, but also Veeam uh, powered services. So the services, the cloud services that the customers are requesting. So my, my priority, our priority is definitely to enable these 35,000 so that they understand what services means, what cloud services mean. Uh, they have to evolve eventually their motion, their sales models, their business models, eventually their organizations, a lot of things. It takes time. So that's why it is the top, top priority because the world is, getting, is going there. So. I don't want to lose partners. I think that they, they would love to generate new businesses, uh, new revenue, new services. So this is a priority. Right. Uh, now, what are some of the main challenges facing partners today and how is Veeam helping them uh, get over these problems? Um, so this is so this is again okay, uh, around exactly the same subject. How do I move from uh, a business when I am a VAR, when I am a reseller, uh, where I you know I purchase a technology, uh, I uh, product a solution, I sell it to my end customer, I make a margin on it, I add a number of you know professional services, implementation services, but it is what I'm a partner is what I've been doing for the last ten years. Now I need to provide services which with subscription with so yearly payment. I don't have. So so it's it's a totally different sales model. So what we do is uh, because we understand that a number of partners are not capable to switching from uh, let's say the traditional reselling model uh, to a cloud service model uh, overnight. Uh, what we're trying to do is to to help if their customer is requesting cloud services. One of the first step without investments from them could be okay. So my customer wants cloud services. I don't, you know, I am the partner. I don't have anything to offer them. So what we are doing is the partner with the partners. So we are going to 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 help the VAR uh, to talk to one of our VCSPs who is generating Veeam cloud services. So that this yeah. VAR, and this is a very easy first step, this VAR can resell the cloud services of the, of our VCSP. Right. So in, in doing that, and, and this is this is a very easy first step in doing that, they will start to learn what the cloud services is. They will learn about that. They will see what you know, they will it, still they will still keep their customers. They will please the customer because they will answer the request of the customer. And then they will they may decide to develop some additional services, some additional things. And then we have different types of models when we talk about cloud services. So it's always about how to help them incrementally to move to a service model, knowing that they don't have to do to change everything overnight, but they can do it step by step. It can take one year, two years, three years, but but it is the way we want to to help them. Right. 
Um, now, tell us, what are some of the future market trends when it comes to the channel? The, the, the future market trends about the channel is all about the cloud and subscription. Um, and and we also see, as you know, the what we call the hyperscalers. Uh, so um, uh, uh, Google Cloud or AWS or Microsoft Azure, which are trying to play big pieces, and they are because they are actually actual big big guys. But again, here is they will need in 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 vast majority of the cases they will need to add a layer of value add between what they provide as an engine, as a cloud engine, uh, to the end customer. And this layer is again going to be the partner, the, the ones that we have today, the ones who have the relationship, the one who understands what his customer wants. Um, so, so this is also going to be part of, of the big move uh, that is that is coming up, that has al already started, uh, where we need also to enable and to train the partners to understand that they can also resell uh, some of the cloud services of the hyperscalers as, and add their own value add and generate their own value add on top of these services, again, to meet the requests of their end customers. So these, these are, are the, big, the big themes. The data protection is very important. The management of the data is very important. The strategy around the data, where do I want my data, um, is very important. And especially in places like in, uh, in, in Asia, so in Asia Pacific, in EMEA, or in LATAM, uh, sovereign cloud is very, very key. So everything around data privacy and avoiding that the data is leaking out, outside of the countries. Is very important. So security at somewhere, every, everything around that is very, very, very important. And this is where where partners have a big, big, big uh, play. Right. Uh, now, Daniel, what is your advice to the regional uh, channel community? Uh, so the, the 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 advice the advice to um to 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 the channel to to the ecosystem of partners to the channel community um is is be open to cloud services be open to security be open to uh, you know to any anything but you know just just listen to what your customers what what your customer wants and uh, you you always find a solution with with you know, many vendors uh, helping and supporting you and Veeam is definitely one of them when we talk when we talk about the data we will help you uh, partners uh, to move to this new world a lot of many of you have already done it so it's very good it's very fine I know very well how much business we do with you and through you, uh, but all the ones who still have to move to services, to cloud services, we are here to help. We are not going to let you down, definitely not. Because, because we are going to continue uh, using this fantastic ecosystem of, of partners that we have all around the world in all countries or regions uh, uh, to, to continue developing and convincing uh, the end customers. By the way, it's, if we are number one, uh, according to IDC, uh, the number one in the world uh, from from a uh, 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 disaster recovery backup uh, data replication uh, perspective, uh, it's definitely because of this extensive and trusted ecosystem of partners that we have. So it's it's one of the forces, this relationship we have with them that they have with us is one of the key forces of the business we've developed together. Right. Now, what are Veeam's plans plans for the regional channel community in 2022 and beyond? It's, it is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to, 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 to put the same answer. It's this move to uh, helping them to move to services because customers is this what their requests, uh, whether, you know, uh, so to cloud services. So there is no, there is nothing very, very much different. We are just going to continue improving the marketing, the training, uh, the connections between the partners, the websites, the pro partner, pro partner WhatsApp is the, the website for the partners. So every, we're developing all the tools and we're trying to automate uh, all the administrative tasks as much as possible uh, so that they can spend also partners much more time to to uh, to spend time in in developing business rather than you know internal processors, to spending time talking, having issues with the, the vendors, uh, and so on and so forth. In where is my order? Uh, you no, know, I've regenerated the right invoices and all the things. So that's what we're doing. 
you know, trying to automate, trying to enable them to help them, support them, or trying to, again, I, I would call that, I you know it's the first time I'm going to use that. I, I, I would say that it would be a, a, a partner 3.0. Uh, so in other words, it's it's try to automate everything that we can and spend uh, as much time as possible in helping and developing their their capabilities to uh, to go to cloud services uh, to provide cloud services to their customers. Great, uh, thank you so much for your time, Daniel. Thank you. You're very very welcome, Anita. Always a pleasure. Thank you.